So let's have a look at this Snabble Transformer car up close. And we'll watch it go around the layout. Since this is the first time it's been out since this crappy bridge over here has been removed because that was what was stopping me from running it around the layout before. So this will be a maiden voyage and I think I've got somewhat of a prototypical setup here. So typically you see a spacer car between it. So I've done that here and also a caboose usually accompanies it for the crew um, to keep this thing going, whatever they need to do. And we have a classic GP35, one of the Phase 3 later versions built in mid-1965. Very short run of these. So let's watch this go around the layout and uh, see how we do. Hopefully it makes it around in one piece. So let's see what happens. So let's turn the power on and crank it up. We'll do some trackside views in another video. So let's get underway. The nice sound of the turbocharged 567 D3 engine. So obviously with this car being as long as it is, there's going to be some rules in the timetable about running this car. So the first one is, it looks like it's only going to be able to run on the track that it currently is because it's going to hang over and foul. And obviously other trains could only pass it on a straightaway. Yeah, just look at how that hangs over. So as you remember, that was my problem bridge right there, and there was no way in hell you could get that to go over it.
All right, so we're going to leave the train for a second and catch it at the other side of the tunnel. These duck unders, you got to love them. So far, so good. This is cool. Again, maiden voyage. So far, so good. I'm excited. Yeah, look at it hang over on this corner. Not as bad because this is a a wide radius curve. I think like 40 inch radius. Might even be closer to 48. I can't remember. Okay. And we'll meet it on the other side. Wow, that does look pretty neat, I must say. We're at Summit Interlocking. There's the shot there, how massive this car is. Absolutely incredible.
Okay, well it successfully made it around the layout. That is freaking awesome. That is awesome. I kind of was worried about some of the curves, especially around the furnace there. So let's pull it up and let's have a rooftop shot of it on the curve. Yeah, there we go. So you can see it, see how it hangs over. Let's cancel the bell. So pretty cool. I'm very glad it was a successful run. So now let's shut down the locomotive. You heard it start up. So here we go, emergency fuel cutoff. And a quick horn blow. Anyway, thanks for looking. Check out the other videos of run-bys.